Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Abby here and today I am so excited to be doing the homemakers tag. I was tagged by Heart and Home. Thank you so much for tagging me. If you haven't heard of Heart and Home yet, go check her channel out. She's great. She does a lot of cleaning and organizing and encouraging videos. So definitely go to her channel and check that out after watching this. Also a stay at home mom, so this is really fun for me and I hope you guys enjoy hearing my answers. If you're watching this and you haven't been tagged for the homemakers tag, I would encourage you to answer these questions either in the comments below, one or all of them, or go ahead and make a video and post it. I would love to know what your answers are to these questions as well. Whether you are a stay at home homemaker or you're a homemaker who works full time. So question, question number one is, have you ever had anyone say anything negative to you about staying at home or working from home? I haven't had anyone say anything truly negative, but I have had people ask, what do you do all day? Don't you get bored? Do you really miss working? Stuff like that, which are all fair questions because there's a lot of people who work full time and they manage everything that I'm managing while working. Um, the only big difference is I'm staying home with my kids, so I'm doing kind of like what a daycare would normally do for me, is they take care of your kids all day, they feed them, they play with them, they teach them, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's what I do majority of the day, and no, I don't get bored, I have plenty to do, um, and it's mostly taking care of my kids. Question number two. What is your favorite, least favorite part of staying home or working from home? Um, my least favorite part about staying home is um, that you see the same things every day, which you would even if you went to an office, but um, your, your home is supposed to be the place that you like love and enjoy and are passionate about making homey. And I think that sometimes you can get kind of like you grow really accustomed to seeing the same things all the time, the same messes, and you kind of like get in a rut. So that's like one of my least favorite things about being home all the time. Um, even with my kids, I'm with my kids, the same kids, <laughs> every day, all day, and the same issues and their same struggles and my same struggles kind of butting heads every day, all day. So um, that's the hardest part, I think, about that. It's also one of the greatest parts is that I get to be with my kids every day, all day, and I get to make my own schedule every day, all day. So that is huge and I love that. That is like, gives me so much freedom. Question number three, what is your favorite or least favorite chore? Hmm, I don't like chores in general, any of them. <laughs> um, but dishes, we don't have a dishwasher, so this is it right here, guys. Um, probably two or three times a day, depending on how much I keep up with the dishes. I really do not like washing dishes because you just stand there and I just hate standing in one place for that long. So I really don't like doing dishes. <laughs> favorite chore? Decluttering. Question number five is, do you put anything on in the background while you clean, work, or cook? Yes, I do. I like podcasts a lot. So like I said, I really don't like doing dishes, but I do it at the end of the day. A lot of times um, when the kids go to bed, I can listen to a podcast. When the kids are awake, I can't really listen to a podcast because I'm constantly interrupted. Um, but yeah, I'll listen to that in the evenings. And I like to listen to Focus on the Family podcasts, um, which you can also hear on their radio station if you're familiar with them. They have lots of great stuff on marriage and parenting. And um, I like to listen to um, A Slob Comes Clean by Dana White. Um, that's an organizing, decluttering, and cleaning podcast. I also like to listen to Organize 365 by Lisa Woodruff. Also another organizing, um, cleaning, and decluttering podcast. Number six is, do you get dressed most days or stay in your pajamas? I get dressed most days, although what I get dressed in is just as comfortable as PJs. And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I don't get out of them at the end of the day. <laughs> at the end of the day, I sometimes just fall asleep in what I'm wearing because it's so comfortable and I'm so tired and I don't care, so I go to bed. So I more so sleep in my clothes than I live in my pajamas, if that makes sense. 
Does anybody else do that? Wow, I'm being very vulnerable today. Um, hope you guys don't mind. Um, to number seven is how often do you do your hair and makeup? Well, <laughs> I do it for you guys. <laughs> um, the same way I would if I was going out with a friend for coffee. Um, I would do my hair and my makeup as best as I could with the time I have. And if I go out of the house at all in general, like I try to do a little bit of makeup and at least make sure my hair doesn't look like a total hot mess. Um, even if it's just grocery shopping, run into the post office, stuff like that. I like to look like not like I'm sick and I like to look like a normal human being when I walk out of the door. So, but this is like I would if I was going out with a friend. So, a um, couple times a week, maybe. Um, yeah, other than that, if I'm at home, I usually don't wear makeup and I usually don't do my hair. I'm not gonna curl it or even let it down, honestly, because I have little kids and it gets pulled and there gets food and bananas and all kinds of stuff in it. So it's just better to keep it back and out of the way. All right, and um, question number eight is, what is your trouble zone? <laughs> Um, or area in your home that needs the most help? That's a really tough question. It really has very little to do with how, how things look. and has a lot more to do with how things function for me to call it a trouble zone. So we live in a really old house. It was built in 1837 and we don't have a lot of closet space. Storage is such an issue in most places in this house. And our rooms are small, so we don't have a lot of room for furniture. Um, in our bedroom, we have a full-size bed, and we really do not have room for a dresser in addition to that full-size bed. Question number nine is, how often do you find yourself getting distracted? Quite often, um, especially with kids in the house. I start something, and then I am needed for something, and I can't remember what I started before I was needed. I'm distracted very often. If I'm on a mission though to get something done, I'm on a mission and I can definitely stay on task. It's just when there's multiple things pulling for my attention, I can't usually remember where I started. So I do get distracted very often, especially when my kids are around. <laughs> Number 10 is, do you enjoy staying home or do you miss going to a job every day? Oh. <sighs> I enjoy staying home. I miss doing my work. I do not miss going to a job every day. I do not miss seeing coworkers or anything like that. I miss doing my job as a dietitian. 11 is what is your never ending chore? Um, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that everyone says it's laundry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody says it's laundry. Yeah, laundry, most definitely. Number 12 is what is your favorite way to relax or have me time? Oh, I like this question. I like to take walks when it's nice outside. I like to take a hot shower. I like to listen to podcasts. Um, yeah, those are my three favorite things. Walks, showers, podcasts. Those are my favorite. Is how often does your husband or your significant other chip in? Um, a lot, all the time, every day. He works long hours, so this is like a lot of credit to him. He works like 12, 13 hours a day, and when he comes home, one of the first things he asks me is, what can I do to help you this evening um, before I start doing my own stuff? And a lot of times, I don't have a whole lot to say. Um, if it was a really crazy, hectic day, I will maybe ask him to help me fold some laundry. And we'll, you know, he will get to watch some sports while he folds laundry. He likes to do all the nitty gritty cleaning. He likes to sweep the floor. Um, he likes to fold the laundry. He will do like really detailed cleaning, like cleaning the baseboards or reorganizing drawers in the kitchen, um, reorganizing the basement or the closet, um, all that kind of stuff. He he's really good at organizing and cleaning the nitty gritty details. That's his, that's kind of like his thing. Number 14, if you have kids, when do you find time to do chores? Mm. <laughs> um, I sometimes will have Bo, my 
oldest, he's two and a half, I will have him do chores with me sometimes. We'll do dishes together. Um, other than that, I have like certain times of the day where I like put on his favorite show and he gets like some juice or something like that and a snack and he's content for a little while and I can speed through some dishes or move some laundry over or go make the beds. Um, really big chores, big cleaning projects, things like that. I usually end up doing that when my husband is home. The other time I get things done is late at night after the kids go to bed. So yeah, to answer that question, I would say either when the kids go to bed, the day is my husband's home, or um, I have my son kind of tag along and do some of those easy chores with me. Number 15 is how do you balance being a homemaker and creating YouTube content? I don't know guys, it's, it's like kind of crazy. I knew it was gonna be work getting started, but it is tough to balance both, I think. Because essentially, you only have so much time in a day and you have to decide what gets priority. And obviously my home and my family is my top priority, always and forever will be, no matter what. And if that means I have to give up YouTube someday in order to like better meet the needs of my family, then that's what I'm gonna have to do. But as of right now, I'm able to film during nap time um, or maybe just while the kids are playing and they're happy. I'm able to film when my husband is home and he's here to take care of the kids. Um, and I do my editing in the evenings, which means I um, decide to give up things like watching TV and um, maybe reading other books and things like that that I would normally be doing in order to edit my videos. Um, which, for the past, like what, four months, five months that I've been on YouTube, um, I've enjoyed. It's hard work learning new things, but I enjoy learning new things and I enjoy the challenge and I enjoy the opportunity to share my life and my uh, background with people um, and encouraging people. So that's that's why I do it because it gives me an outlet to share things with people that I normally wouldn't be able to. So I'm really thankful for the platform of YouTube, YouTube and um, it certainly is a gift and a privilege to be able to speak on YouTube to anyone out there who is listening. So I appreciate you guys listening. She needed me. And Bo is also awake. He's in the background watching TV right now. So um, I'm gonna try and finish up this video as quickly as I can. Wait. So. Mm hmm. Yeah. This is really not ideal, guys. <laughs> How about we turn you this way? Then you can look at yourself. You wanna just go play? You wanna go play? I don't think that's a good idea. Your brother is gonna like pummel you. 16 is which room in your house is your favorite and why and uh, I think I'm gonna say our nursery is my favorite because it's the one room that is even close <laughs> even close to being finished right now it um, is actually painted the color that we want it painted it has a nice soft wonderful rocking reclining chair in it that I love that I got for my birthday from my mom and um, we have the crib in it, everything matches, and I like, I like. it's not like perfect, but that's the room that is like the most close to being done, and um, it's just a relaxing place to be because that chair, that chair is amazing. So, um, I've caught my husband by himself, no baby with him at all, taking a nap in that chair. <laughs> Question number 17 is, what is your least favorite room in your home and why? Um, hmm, that's a tough question. I almost want to say our basement because it's unfinished and it's like a crypt. It's so creepy down there. I really hate our basement. Um, but besides, besides the basement, um, I don't know if I have a least favorite room really. Yeah, I'm just going to say our basement. It's so creepy and I hate it and it's cold and damp. I hate the basement. And that's where our laundry is. So I have to go down there every single day, multiple times a day to do laundry. And it has a really low ceiling, lots of cobwebs. Ugh. I can't wait to see that change someday. Question number 18 is, do you feel your home reflects your personal style? Why or why not? I'm going to say no, not right now, because right now 
As you can see, I showed you earlier in the video that our home is just not finished. Video turns out okay, because this is the second time I'm trying to film it. Um, question number 19. What does your home smell like? I feel like this is such a funny question. <laughs> like, how do you describe to someone what your home smells like? Um, poopy diapers. <laughs> Um, okay, it doesn't actually smell like poopy diapers. Right now, I have a candle lit, and one of my favorite candles is the Midsummer's Night um, by Yankee Candle. However, I will give you this disclaimer about myself that I am not a huge fan of candles. I used to be, but I feel like I, I just believe that breathing in all that fragrance is not healthy for us. So I'd like to get a good, like a really good diffuser sometime with some really good oils. And I'm looking into um, who I want to buy my oils from right now, um, which is hard because there's so many companies out there. Um, but when I decide who I'm buying my oils from, I will let you guys know and maybe do a review on those for you if you're interested. Oh! Battery's dying. Baby's pulling hair. Earrings are getting pulled out. Oh, guys. <laughs> How do you do a YouTube channel and have children? I don't know. I don't know, this is, this is how. Last but not least is number 20, and that question is, what is your strong point and your weak point with homemaking? Um, I think my weak point is that, because um, let's be honest, it's easier to find your weak point than it is your strong point sometimes. Um, my weak point is that I do not have I'm not good with routines, I'm not good with having a habit. I um, never really practiced any kind of good homemaking routines in the past prior to having kids. Mm -hmm. So then once I had kids and I needed to have those routines in place, I, want to cry. I See, just, cry. after having kids, Cockies. getting into those habits and routines for like Cockies. good homekeeping Cockies. was really, really mm -hmm. hard. Um, so that's definitely my weak area and that's something I'm working on is like forming good habits like simply making my bed every morning and making sure the dishes are done before I go to bed and even learning the habits that work well with my family. Besides my weak point, my strong point I would say is that I am, I'm determined. Like, so regardless of what shortcomings I have or the weaknesses I have, if I am aware of that and I want to change it, I set my mind to it and it's going to change. And I've seen that already. It's been about three years that I've been home almost. It'll be three years in April that I've been home. And I've seen like great changes. Our house is already better than what it was when we first moved in. I'm better than what I was when we first moved in. I'm not only taking care of the house and one child now, I'm taking care of the house and two children and um, doing a much better job at it than I was when I didn't have any children at all. So I would say that my determination, my persistence is my strength in most things in life, to be honest. I think that that has gotten me to a lot of places. I'm not the best at everything, but I certainly am persistent. So I would say that is my strength. I hope that you enjoyed listening to those answers. And remember guys, that I wanna to get to know each of you as well. I have 49 subscribers as of today and so thankful for each and every one of you who are watching this. And um, I look forward to getting to know you. If you want to answer one or all of these questions in the comments below, the list of questions is in the description box. If you have a channel and you would like to do this tag, um, I don't really know anyone to tag, to be honest. I think everyone who could be tagged has been tagged. But if you are seeing this and you would like to make a video on this, um, please do it and let me know. Um, give me a shout out because I would love to watch your video and hear your responses to these questions as well. And again, a huge thank you to Heart and Home for thinking of me. You're so thoughtful and so sweet. And I love watching your channel and all the videos that you have to offer. Um, I learn things from you. I'm inspired by you. So if you haven't checked out Heart and Home yet, please do so. Go check out her channel. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and hit the little bell notification. That's going to help make sure that you are notified when I post new videos. I post every Tuesday and I'm hoping to post more often than that in the future, but for now it's just every Tuesday. So um, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me and listening to my answers about um, what I like and don't like about homemaking. So um, again, it's such a privilege to be a homemaker and um, I'm very thankful for it. No matter the challenges I face, I know that the challenges that I face are making me stronger. <laughs> yes. 
So babies are crying, people are hungry, I gotta go. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.